if anybody I know finds this video, just know everything I said is a lie. Hi guys, it's Anu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I always wanted to say that. Fun fact, this is actually not my first time filming a YouTube video. I did try another time and it went somewhere like this. Does that look weird when I'm talking with my mouth full? No, it doesn't. I hate it here. I, I, I already failed. I already failed this. Yeah, not my best moment. But all in all, it all worked out. I'm like much more comfy. I think so. I don't know. So here I am sitting on a Saturday morning. If you hear any loud noise, ignore it. Because I have brown parents. And it is a disclaimer that is indeed necessary to put. During the quarantine, I started posting TikToks because I don't know, like it was so boring. Everybody started TikTok during quarantine and like somehow they all started making YouTube. So I wanted to give it a shot too. A bunch of my followers were actually so freaking active and I love that. I asked you guys a couple of questions. Uh, so we're going to be discussing four questions and four assumptions. So let's get into it. The first question. Where do you live? Hmm, where do I live? <laughs> okay. Two words, New York City. Wait, no, that's three word. <laughs> that's all I'm saying because that is like very, very personal. Second question is, your favorite K-pop groups. Okay, so if you follow me on TikTok and Instagram, you obviously know already that I'm a huge BTS army. Ouch. And I do stand groups like um, Forever 21. <laughs> what the fuck is that even a group? <laughs> Other groups like Tomorrow by Together. If you're a MOA, also comment down below if you're a MOA. Those are the two groups that I'm mostly like invested on, apparently. They're like not my first K-pop groups. There were others, but I am like more invested in them. Rather like a whole other group i do like other groups though don't get me wrong i love them i watch their music video i do stream their music but i'm not as invested enough to call myself a huge stan or like a part of a huge fandom so i'm only gonna say that i'm an army and i'm a moa third question is actually my favorite one what inspired you to be a content creator i mean i've always liked creating contents i've always wanted to do that you know how you're like when you were little you would go in front of a mirror and just start talking to yourself like, hmm, today i had a great day like you know like a fred the show that would be totally me i would just go up in my mirror before showering and i would just talk to myself talk about my day as if someone is freaking watching my show when truly nobody is and nobody cares so I started posting like you know more of like a funny videos rather than some dances because I'm just horrible at those stuff I started posting I was so amazed because like you know like nobody knew me so how was I getting into people's for you pages was beyond me if you own TikTok and you make content you're bound to somehow one day get viral like at least one video that that is gonna get you viral yeah so that happened to me and one day I, one of my TikTok is just blowing up and then I was like, what? what's happening? And that it like inspired me to make keep making content because then I realized that people actually find my humor humorous. <laughs> so when I started TikTok, I wasn't making any BTS content per se, but at some point I kept on getting BTS content all over my For You page. I was like, damn, I never want to get out of this side of TikTok ever. Some of the content creators actually inspired me and some of the TikTok inspired me to make some of my own and i used some of the trends to incorporate my style of memes that really boosted up my following but coming back to the question to what inspired me to make contents i would like to say bts because as silly as it sounds to some non-k-pop stands the smallest things can change your life in a really really big way and you just have to take it and pretend that God gave it to you. Because honest to God, I would have never known that throwing yourself out there sometimes can be so beneficial because even though you're open to criticisms, you have to learn that life is not always perfect. 
So just take a chance, take a leap, and maybe you'll have what you wanted someday that you never thought you would get. I took a chance. Even if it's not successful, I just want to see because this is truly what I want my time past to be like. Like if I'm ever bored, this is what I want to do because I feel like boredom can be really bad for somebody. And if I can do something else to cure my boredom, then this is what I want to do. Fourth question is very, very great. What are some common misconceptions or assumptions people have of you? Not really on TikTok, but um, on Instagram when I first like blew up, people kept asking me, where are you from? And they kept asking me, are you from India? Like 100 requests every single day in my DM asking me where I'm from, which is really, really overwhelming. Yeah, one of the misconceptions was that people thought I was Indian. And while that may be slightly true, it's actually not because I am a pure Bangladeshi. It means I'm from Bangladesh. I was raised in Bangladesh. My mother was born in Bangladesh. My father was born in Bangladesh. My grandmother was born in Bangladesh. My grandfather was born in Bangladesh. All three generations was born in Bangladesh. So technically, I have no part in India. So I cannot claim myself to be an Indian. Another misconception is not technically about me, but for like other people who just create K-pop or like K-drama content in just general. Um, so as you can see, me, I am not Korean, but some people who are like not part of the K-pop or like K-drama fandom, they don't understand that we just like things just because we like it. It doesn't mean like we're obsessed with a certain culture. It didn't happen to me, but it did happen to some other creators. They were called Korea boo and while like other people may know that word it actually means like a person who's highly freaking obsessed with Korean culture uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say Ollie London not everybody is freaking Ollie London so like stop saying Korea boo Korea boo Korea boo because that is just so freaking annoying because just we just like K-drama because it has good plots yes sure like hot guys are freaking bonus Sure, we listen to K-pop, listen to something we may not know the meaning of, but at least we don't hate on other people's culture. That's on period. Here's some four assumptions that I got from you guys. You live in South Korea. <laughs> I'm sorry, what made you wanna ever assume that? I don't know. What part, what part? Unfortunately, I do not live in South Korea, okay? So that assumption is wrong, I'm sorry. Second assumption is you are an extrovert. And that is something I always have to freaking explain because they see me being so social with people in my uh, social media platform. Well, like, I'm nowhere near that. If I know that certain people that does not, like, I know that person is not gonna vibe with me. I am so quiet in front of them. You ain't even gonna know I'm there. If I know that certain person or certain type of people is going to judge what I like, what I like to do, and what I do on a daily basis, I don't share much of my information with them and I don't really hang out with them because I know my crowd. I know when I fit into a crowd and when I don't. And if I know that I don't fit into a crowd, I immediately leave because bye-bye, Felicia. We don't need that toxicity. I'm actually an ambivert and it is, I feel like, a real thing because I'm super, super freaking hyped when I'm with people that I feel comfortable with. You speak Spanish. <laughs> Fourth assumption is actually from my friend. <laughs> she said, you want a rich boyfriend. <laughs> um, technically, she's not wrong, but she's not right either. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut that off. If anybody I know finds this video, just know everything I said is a lie. I did it. I filmed my first video and it's out. Thank you guys! If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to leave a like or thumbs up as all YouTubers say. And if you do know me from other social media platforms, do say hi because I think I will notice you. Subscribe to my channel! Ah! Until next time! Bye! 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 I swear I filmed that bye like 20 different times.